Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll be working with our secure pay extension for our Lifeforms module. So let's get started. What I have here is an instance of Lifeforms module on the on a uh, on a DNN 9 site. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click manage. And one of the first things we need to do is set up a form where we can collect the payment information and process it. So what I'm gonna do is head over to Mandeeps.com and go to the Lifeforms page. I'm just gonna go to our <clears throat> demo pages where we have the template gallery. I'm just gonna go to the buy now template and then basically copy this template from right here and paste it over here. To do that I simply go to sharing and say copy form and paste in my template and hit OK. Alright there we go. Now I, I now have this uh, sample form set up and I can go ahead and start configuring it. So this is a simple form which has a product dropped on, on the top and if I look at the options it has three options iPhone 6, 6s and 7 and they're basically five hundred, six hundred and seven dollars a piece and uh, we'll ask for a credit card information uh, address and so forth and process of that. So let's go ahead and set this up. Next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to options, actions I'm going to say we need, when the form is submitted, we need to process a payment and we're going to do that through Secure Pay. Okay, so we can go ahead and um, get started here by giving any name here for the action. I'm just going to go ahead and say payment and uh, we need our merchant ID, password, uh, and this is the information that you would get from Secure Pay. Um, now, since we're working on uh, a development or sandbox mode, I have those available here. So I'm just going to simply copy and paste these here. And uh, we'll try with those. I'm just going to go ahead and hit sandbox. And next, we want to go ahead and associate the payment information. So uh, if you notice, we have this credit card field in, in this form already set up. So I'm basically going to map that here by saying you can get the card number from that credit card field, same with everything else. And with Secure Pay, we really don't need to pass an address, uh, even though we have it on the form, so we really don't have to do anything. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, the amount that we need to charge, and that's coming from this amount right here we have a hidden field which gets updated based on the drop down they're choosing it's very simple to set up if you if you have any questions how to do that take a look at the dynamic fields video uh, i'm going to go ahead and hit save here i'm going to add a couple more actions really quick one i'm going to say uh, that the payment was successful again the action could be anything so i'm going to say your order has been placed transaction id and here um, I'm just gonna show their transaction ID and I will show how to use these tokens uh, uh, in a little while but for right now I just want to show this message uh, if the payment is successful to make sure it only executes if it's successful I'm gonna say if immediately prior action is successful so let's go ahead and hit add action and add that in I'm gonna do one more and this one is for whatever reason their payment didn't go through so again the action could be anything I'm just gonna say your um, let's say there uh, there was an error placing uh, there was an error completing your order okay all right so we only want to show this one if any of the prior actions fail so let's go ahead and do this and we're all set I'm gonna go ahead and close this hit save and return and give this a shot. So I'm gonna say uh, we'll do iPhone 6s is $600, and I'll just type in a name here. I need a test credit card, so I'm gonna grab that from this information right here. And we don't need an address, but since it's on the form, anyways, I'll go ahead and fill it out. And we need an again. The, we didn't need an email for secure pay, but we're collecting it here for our purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit buy now, and I don't need to save this card in the browser at the moment. We're just waiting for the transaction to go through over at secure pay, and um, it went successfully. It says your order has been placed, and here's the transaction ID. 
Okay, so what I want to do next really is to actually make sure that this transaction did go through. So I'm going to head over to Secure Pay Developer Documentation and I'm going to log into their merchant portal here. Um, and here's the information that I can use to log in. I'll just copy this really quick. And ABC is our ID, test is username, I'm going to paste in the password and log in. And what I'm looking for basically is uh, a $600 charge that I just passed in. And as I can see, uh, the last charge came through was $600 and there it is that was our charge it has a reference of x14 set by secure pay all right so let's head back over to live forms and go to manage and what I'm gonna do is go to our submissions and I can see right here that we had a submission if I click on this action results what I do see that the secure pay action was executed and it was successful I do see the amount that was sent and that is in cents so it's six hundred dollars right there in Australian currency and I, I can see that that's that same x14 that I was looking over there and this is a transaction ID that I was showing so there it is pretty simple and easy the only thing I want to show is how to show tokens and that was extremely easy you basically use your action name which in my case was payment this was uh, arbitrary you can set it to whatever you want you're setting up the action and then whatever the uh, uh, field here that you want to show so in my case I was showing transaction ID uh, for whatever reason if you want to show the response code or response text then you can get that from here as well so uh, just to be absolutely sure what I'm referring to is where we were setting up the successful message right here I can very simply if I wanted to show uh, response text I could change this to response text versus transaction ID and you can always refer back to submission to see a list of tokens or list of fields that are available to you from right here that's it for the short video uh, when you want to go live you simply uncheck the sandbox option and use your production credentials and you're good to go if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you.